let's change up shrimp for dinner tonight. We're gonna do a Mediterranean shrimp. I was gonna go with the traditional shrimp scampi with a little bit of angel hair pasta, but I said, nah, let's spice it up a little bit. So I have these beautiful 13 by 15 shrimp, peeled to vein, the tail's on. We're gonna pull the tail off because bartender Bill doesn't like when I give him a dinner with shrimps with the tails on. Uh, we cooked some orzo, I just took it out, it's steaming hot, and I saved a little bit of the pasta water. And we're gonna do blistered tomatoes, some spinach because it's a veggie and a green that will brighten up the dish and my kids like it. Some fresh herbs, we got some lemon, some feta, some garlic and onions, sauteing it all together, tossing it all together, serving it for dinner. And I buy the 1315 shrimp, sometimes I buy the 1620, depends on what the price is and what's for sale. I buy them frozen, I keep them in the freezer until I need them. Unless it's something like that I'm really trying to do a special occasion, I'll go buy fresh shrimp. But I always have a bag of shrimp in the freezer um, because these are great size too. Someone's coming over last minute, make shrimp cocktail. Um, but at the same time, I want to taste my shrimp in my pasta or my entree. Um, so I marinated them in just a little bit of, you can see I'm taking the tails off right now, but just garlic that I uh, rough chopped, olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of um, lemon juice as well and garlic powder on top of the garlic, just so it has a little bit of flavor. I thawed them out the night before, then I marinated them this morning so that I can cook it all together now. Popping the tails off, super easy, just pinch and pull. So as for the tomatoes, I have these on hand. They're just um, grape tomatoes, and I'm gonna cut them in half. You can get canned tomatoes, which is fine, and use the small dice or the regular dice. You can blister these whole and throw them in. Um, but for my sauce, I'm gonna cut them in half to do this as a one pan sauce, kind of. The only thing separate that was cooked was the orzo and saving a little bit of pasta water. And then I'll fold it all together. Um, but I wanna cook everything in one pan for my shrimp. I'm gonna rough chop my spinach. I'm gonna fine chop some fresh parsley. And over at the stove already, I have my garlic and onions chopped up and my lemon to add to deglaze the pan. Onions and garlic are lemon. We have our tomatoes in half, shrimp, the tail's off, spinach has a rough chop, and we're gonna do it all in this pan. I also save, like I said, around um, a large cup, two cups of the pasta water so we can put it in here, and then we'll mix everything together. Starting with a little bit of olive oil in our pan. Um, I'm using a non-stick pan, and I'm gonna get it nice and hot. I'm just gonna get it coated on the bottom. I'm gonna saute our garlic and onion to start with then add our tomatoes. Then I'm gonna use the acid from the fresh lemon juice to deglaze, sauteed spinach in, pasta water. Get that simmering, cooking down a little bit, and then, this pan's not big enough, but we'll have a big bowl where we're gonna mix everything together, because our orzo's cooked and kept on the side, I have our cheeses on the side, and I have our fresh parsley on the side. So hot pan, get that sizzle, just gonna get these sauteed. To your discretion, on the like how long is the translucent's fine. I like getting a little color on it. Garlic and onion has some nice color to it. We're gonna add our tomatoes. Like I said, if you don't have fresh tomatoes, you can use canned tomatoes. You can roast them in the oven and not in here, but I like that sugar that comes out, the natural sugar from the tomatoes that comes out. Um, and I don't mind the seeds, some people do, and they might blanch the tomato and just take the tomato filet. However fancy you wanna get with dinner, that's on you. But I just like keeping it simple. So we've been sauteing for around five to six minutes. Tomatoes have cooked down nicely. A little bit of sugar. We're gonna juice two lemons. Make sure you roll your lemons beforehand. It helps release all those juices. I'm doing one whole lemon. Yeah. Okay. And now we're gonna add in our shrimp. We're gonna get these babies sauteing. Check that out. Our shrimp started to get some nice color on it. I gave our spinach a rough chop. Um, you can add frozen spinach into this if you want and not, you don't have fresh spinach on hand. I would just take it out of the freezer, let it thaw completely and squeeze all the water out of it if you are. Um, don't mind the big pile. As we know, spinach is gonna cook down. And at this point, I'm gonna add in our pasta water. Gonna get a lid, cover this just so it can start to simmer, and then we're gonna add it. We're gonna move over there and gonna add it to our orzo. A little different angle. 
sauteing everything together, our tomatoes, our shrimp, our garlic, our spinach. This is a quick dinner. The longest thing was to cook the orzo, and I did that while the kids were upstairs taking a bath so that I could finish making the sauce. Mm -hmm. Hold 10 minutes to cook the orzo. And you can do this with any pasta. I just had orzo on hand and wanted to change it, kind of make it more Mediterranean feeling. Feely? So that's why I use the orzo. But if you want to do this with bow tie or penne, you also want to leave it brothy because that's what the cheese is going to absorb into with the pasta and make it all come together. So the orzo that I cooked, we're just going to slide that right into our bowl. It was just tossed with a little bit of olive oil. Make sure you do not rinse your orzo. So, took the saute pan, our shrimp and everything, pouring that right in. Like I said, use the nonstick, it's perfect. I'm doing around a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm doing around a cup of feta cheese. Fresh parsley. Now we're just gonna toss. Oh, it smells so good. Um, just give you a peek before I, I'll go on a different angle. Um, fresh ground pepper. I like that. This is super fresh. You can use zucchini in here if you like as well. It's a great veggie. You can cut up some asparagus tips. I am just gonna put a drop of olive oil in it. Tossing it all together. The feta has started to melt together. Add the olive oil, a little bit of salt. Of course, we're gonna give it a taste. So good. So stinking good. Like, the trick here, I'm a feta fan. I'm a feta fan. So the feta cheese pulls it all together and absorbs all that broth. Oh my God. So good. All right, look well, guys, dinner's done. Throw it in a bowl. There's nothing else to it. That's it. Enjoy. Finished product, our Mediterranean shrimp dinner with orzo, feta, tomatoes, garlic, onion, spinach, finished with a little bit of fresh parsley and feta on top. Bon appetit.